I am thrilled that Martin Gavin and Bonzi Colson will uh, join us officially. Um, first of all, with what we recruit to pretty consistently here, frontline guys that have a high basketball IQ, that know how to play, that are really good with the basketball. Bonzi Colson was the most efficient offensive player through the Nike EYBL circuit that started in the spring and ran all the way up till August 1st. Um, he is an undersized frontline guy, but it's deceiving because he has a wingspan of about seven feet. So he plays bigger than he is. But what he does is feel for the game, and he has that ability to score the ball. He finds the net. The last time I used a phrase like that, I used it with a young man by the name of Luke Herringote, a guy that can just score the ball. He's good inside. He can shoot the basketball. He passes. Uh, his length helps him be a rebounder, um, but as far as knowing how to play the game on the offensive end of the floor, um, he plays it much like an older player. Well, Bonzi Colson Jr. was born to play this game. Uh, his father played at Dunbar High School, which is a close to my old DeMatha High School back in Washington, D.C., a very tradition-rich high school and was a great player at the University of Rhode Island and was an assistant coach at my alma mater, GW, and at Boston College during their great run under Al Skinner. The young man has grown up around locker rooms. The dinner table talk was about basketball. Um, it's no surprise that this young man is a basketball junkie and has a great feel for the game because uh, it's kind of the family business in the Colson family. Martin Gebbin is a flat out great fit and again when you look at us losing two big bodies similar to his like Eric Sherman and Tom Knight um, there's a big need for Martin Gebbin's size and strength right away. He's a very physical kid, plays hard, fits in well, can shoot that 15, 18 footer, um, but is a physical force. What I was impressed with him through the summer circuit was he takes a lot of pride in playing defense, post defense. He probably took more charges this summer than any guy out on the AAU circuit, definitely any big guy. Uh, very good passer, um, good screener, um, but again, a, a big that knows how to play and that can fit in with perimeter guys that have a feel for the game. The great advantage that Martin Gebbin has is he's part of the Lithuanian national program. So his off seasons, not only will he be with us, but he'll be with a great and, and tradition rich uh, national program. Lithuania has had very good basketball. Uh, it's their, their sport uh, in their country is basketball and there's no second sport as Martin tells me. Um, but that he gets to play in that program as well as playing major college basketball, huge for his development. He, he is out of that mold of a Euro big guy. Those Euro big guys are good with the ball, they can face the basket, they can shoot it, they can pass it. Again though, I love his physicality and as a freshman at 6'10", 240, he's physically ready to play in the ACC. We really focused with our recruiting needs for this class, the 2014 class, was frontline players. Um, we felt we were in good shape with our perimeter depth with who we signed this past year. Um, but with Garrick Sherman and Tom Knight being seniors and leaving the program, frontline guys were our focus.